Hey everyone, welcome back to another Wine Wednesday. I'm excited to have a red this time. Um, so today we are trying Yellowtail Big Bold Red. I'm sure if you've ever been in the wine section of the LCBO, you've probably seen this. I've seen it a bunch of times and it was on sale a couple weeks ago, so I decided to just buy it and give it a try. So Big Bold Red um, from Australia. Let's read the back. In the small Australian town of Yenda, the Casella family has been making wine for generations. It is here that Yellowtail was created with a simple philosophy to make great wines for everyone to enjoy. This Yellowtail Big Bold Red is everything uh, a great wine should be. Fruity, rich, and easy to drink. That's what I like. So flavors are dark fruits, spice, and a touch of vanilla, and enjoy with pepper steak and good conversation. So I don't have any red meat yet because I need to go grocery shopping as I think it is like per usual. <laughs> um, so I'm not doing a tasting with that, but most reds, especially like anything that's bold, you're gonna wanna drink with um, or eat with like a steak or even like if you don't eat steak, um, portobello mushroom would be good too. Um, anything more earthy and just kind of, just it pairs well. Usually like the lighter in flavor, the lighter in wine you wanna go to. So. Yeah, okay, I'm excited for this. I love a good crack. Okay. Ooh, you see that? It's got like purples in it. That is a beautiful colored wine. Oh man. That's stunning. I don't know, maybe I'm a little crazy, but I think that's a stunning color. Okay. So. I haven't had a red wine like this in a while. It's so fruity and earthy. Oh, I wanna eat a steak. Oh, that just smells so delicious. Oh my God, okay. Okay. Honestly, more mellow than I thought for a name of Big Bold Red. It doesn't punch you in the face as much as I thought it would. Um, it has a little bit of tannins to it, but not that bad for some red wines really has it. So that's kind of like the dry mouth feeling that you get. I only have it a little bit, which I don't mind when it's a lot. I don't really like it that much because I'm like, <laughs> so I'm drinking my wine and I don't want to be doing that. Hmm. That. Oh, you probably can't see the color like I can. That's so pretty. It's got a little bit of leg, not too much. Oh, that's such a nice smell. Yeah, just very fruity. I can kind of get the vanilla, but that's like a stretch for me because I know it's there. It goes down so smooth. I would say this is a very easily drinkable red wine. Um, I probably would have liked this red wine when I was getting into it too. Cause it's just, even though it is a big bold red, like I don't think it, it's anything crazy. I think like, it, it is a good wine uh, for good conversation and it would pair so well um, with a nice juicy steak, oh, some mashed potatoes. Oh, that would be so good right now. Oh, I could go grocery shopping and get those things. So if you see this wine in the LCBO and you're looking for a nice easy red and you like Australian reds especially, I definitely would recommend. Oh, I forgot I didn't put the cat bag on. Let me do that. Um, I actually don't really aerate my wines that much. I don't have an aerator. It's something I want to get. Uh, it's on my list. But a lot of red wines, especially, um, always just taste better with with the air in it or even if it's been left open for a little bit longer. Um, so maybe I'll try this one tomorrow and see how it tastes too. But delicious, definitely would try. Sorry for the quick cut, got a phone call. <laughs> um, but so yeah, I got it at the LCBO. It was about uh, yeah, $14.95, $15 when I bought it. A um, couple dollars off, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm not too sure what else the LCBO has. Uh, usually they carry like another, like a white and a red of the same brand, but not always. 
But yep, as always in the comments, please let me know if you've ever had this wine, um, if you're planning on buying this wine, if you don't like red wines, maybe what else you want to see, what you're drinking today as well. Um, and I'll see y'all next Wednesday. Cheers.